Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees. We are back in the honey processing room and for the second part of the harvesting video. And we're gonna show you how we process all those supers behind us. Uh, that's just a few of them. It's probably only a quarter of the supers, but maybe not even that, that we pulled. And we wanna show you how we put it through our new processing line. We've got our Maxant Mutt, a Maxant extractor here that we're going to put it through. Um, and then we're going to put it in our bottling tank. So we've got everything set up here. Uh, we've got everything ready to go and we're going to show you how we do that. So here we go. Okay, so we've got our mutt all set up and we're going to show you how we're going to uncap these uh, supers that we have over here. We've got a couple of things that we're going to pull out and take a look at. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got a frame of honey here. And as you can see, when you look at it, it's nicely capped. Uh, and we wanna go ahead and cut that capping off on both sides. If you have a frame of honey that's not fully capped, you wanna do a test on it naturally to make sure that that honey in the bottom is properly cured. You wanna make sure that at least 90% of the frame is fully capped or you're gonna have an issue with moisture in your honey and that could cause fermenting and have a whole batch of honey go bad. So when you look at your frames, you wanna make sure that you uh, look for that. So you look for a fully capped honey. This ensures that the moisture level is correct within the honey. And then we'll cut this capping off. You know, naturally being sanitary in this day and age is important. So you can see I'm wearing a mask. I got gloves on. This helps keep the uh, you know, pathogens and anything else that I got on my hands out of the honey. This is a sterile environment, stainless steel, clean. I cleaned all my equipment, so let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna take your capping knife and you're gonna cut along the frame of the wood. You're gonna let the actual knife and more of a sawing motion do the work, okay? Okay, you see how that, just letting it go along. Not putting a lot of pressure. You're just cutting along the cappings all the way to the bottom. Okay, those cappings will drop into the basket down here and that basket will drip honey and the cappings in the bottom and then we'll go out the honey gate at the end. If you look at this frame of honey, you'll see that we got the majority of the cappings, but you also see some spots in here like these dark spots, that's pollen. That's why natural raw honey has a little bit of pollen in it. Because when you go to extract it out, some of that pollen bits will be still in the honey. Uh, as well as the pollen that will be within the honey that's, that's cured as well in here. So that's why natural raw honey, unpasteurized, is so healthy for you because it has such great benefits. In addition to the honey, it has the pollen bits in it. So that's one of the things that we're gonna do here is um, continue to extract out. We'll go along with our uncapping knife and, and cut open the cells that we couldn't get with the knife. Some people scratch the surface of the honey. They'll rake along it and scratch it up. Some people use a chain uncapper. Personally, I like to retain as much of that cell structure as possible, as well as leaving a good, clean, frame for the bees to build back again in the next season. So you can see as that gets cut off, I'm not doing a lot of work here. It's really doing all the work for me. Okay. And all those cappings are falling in the bottom of that bin and all that honey's dripping down in there. So we've got a bee stuck in there. I'm gonna pick out any of the pieces that didn't get uncapped. Okay. And the one good thing about this uncapping tank is I can take this frame, clean it up, and 
then set it in the bin to continue to drain before I loaded my extractor. I can do several frames that way. If I have my extractor loaded up and it's spinning, I can actually have frames lined up here to then uncap. So let's do one more. Nice solid frame. A little bit of pollen in there. Look at all that pollen. See all that pollen in there? One. Slip off my hook. Now make sure you're on your nail solid. On this side, we've got uncapped, but the majority of it's capped here. So here's how you do that. You take your honey, you go into a clean side, and you do a shake. Really hard. And if no honey shakes out of those cells, that's a good indication that it's been cured, it just hasn't been capped. So we're going to go ahead and pull that off. All this wax cappings that I'm putting down here are clean wax cappings that we're going to use for candles, we're going to use for lip balms, and lots of other things. Okay, got that frame all cleaned up, ready to go in the extractor. All right, we're going to continue on uncapping frames. We'll load up the extractor and we'll show you that next step next. Okay, so we've got all our frames that we want to go into the extractor uncapped, and we're going to start to move them over. These are medium frames, so we can set 20 of them in here with the top bars facing out. And then we'll turn this thing on. This will allow the honey to spin out on the walls and rip it down. Any of the frames that were dripping while I was waiting were dripping into the uh, uncapping tank, which is why I like that uncapping tank, so I don't have to immediately put them in the extractor. Loading this thing up though, Let's get a nice big batch of honey out of it. And while this thing is spinning, I'll be uncapping the next 20 frames to keep the production line moving. My last extractor that I had could only do 12 frames, so this is definitely a, 
an enhancement. So what we have Five more. Two more. See, the bees did a great job capping the frames off this year. Last frame. All right. Now I'm gonna have my helper hand me the lids. Hunter, if you can hand me those lids. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh there we go. We're gonna turn it on. See it spin. I don't know if you can see that spin or not. There they go. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, 
Okay, we've let this run for about five, 10 minutes and uh, we've turned it off. Our frames are now extracted. If you look at a frame, you should see that it's completely clean and you can see all the honey has been pushed out of the frame on the wall, it's dripped down to the bottom. Those are those pieces of pollen that we talked about. Um, we're gonna take these frames and we're gonna put them on a cart and put them outside for the bees to clean up the remaining sticky honey that's on the outside of the frames. But let's do our inaugural pool. This is the uh, first pool of the extraction season. We put a bucket underneath, put a uh, double screen. This is a fine screen and a coarse screen. Uh, you get this screen uh, online. There's two levels of screen that will happen you see right here. Okay. Pull that into the drain. So let's take a look at what we got here. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Honey. Beautiful honey. Look at that. Amazing. There we go. We'll let that flow out and then we'll let it filter and we'll be good to go for another round. Okay, our last step in the process is to take what we've strained out of our extractor. You can see all the uh, pieces of cappings that have strained through in this bucket and do it. We're gonna put it into our bottling tank. There's one last strain that occurs for a cheesecloth into our top tank strainer. And it goes directly down into our bottling tank. So that would be the last filter that occurs We're going to pull our five gallon bucket that's almost full. It's continuing to uh, drain. We're going to take that and put that over here. And then our capping tank is set to the side. Lift our bucket up. And pour it into the bottling tank. Put our bucket back over here to fill back up. I'm scraping out the cappings and that strainer. The top strainer. So it's ready for the next extraction. And now we've got another clean extractor strainer. We need to continue on. Over here, we have honey will drip down into the bottling tank and we'll be able to bottle honey. Over here, we have all of our frames sitting on a cart that we've built that we'll take outside and let the bees clean it up. So there you go. That's how we run from supers to our Maxant bottling tank, our uncapping tank. Our cappings will be draining. We'll still have some more honey down here to filter. We'll put it into our extractor. We'll strain it and we'll put it in our bottling tank over here. We'll let the bees clean up the frames and we'll repeat. So that's how we do here at the Bohemia Apiary.
Well, there you have it. There's our honey bottling process. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've seen how we've taken it from our supers through the whole honey line. We've got now an upgraded uh, Maxant uh, honey processing line, so that helps our production work a little bit more efficiently and cleaner. And we'll be able to be able to process a lot more honey a lot faster than we have in years past. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed watching us use that new equipment in our new honey room. I uh, hope you liked the video. hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, enjoy learning about the bees with us here at the Bohemia Apiary. Share with your friends and make sure you uh, follow along as we do more things here at the Bohemia Apiary where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.